Hey guys, Byers here, and welcome back to the channel, and welcome to a very special video indeed. Tonight was the PlayStation launch event, showcasing some of the new games that will be released onto the PlayStation 5 console, um, early 2021, late 2020. And one of the games that was featured was Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. Now, if you're watching this on the anniversary, then that is when I decided to post this reaction and breakdown. So what we're going to be doing is, I just finished reacting to the trailer for like the fifth time, and I want to break this down with you guys with imagery on the screen just for you guys to follow along with my ideas and my thoughts and stuff like that and we're gonna go not frame by frame i'm not gonna do a like full frame by frame anal uh, analysis i'm gonna just do a breakdown going every few shots going into the different sections of the trailer and just talking about ideas i had that were going through my head while watching this trailer multiple times because this is so good Security Breach has had a weird history with its advertising and that we haven't really gotten a lot this year. We've waited for like an entire year or so I'd say for any actual footage on this game and we finally got it released at this event. Currently is sitting as the most popular trailer of the ones that were showcased at the event uh, 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 live. It's the most popular trailer. Huh, who says FNAF is dead anymore? But yeah, um, we're gonna go through this. I'm gonna give you guys an initial reaction, so here is the uncut trailer for you guys to see, and then we'll discuss our thoughts and ideas. Gregory, your friends are worried about you. They're here with me. Please, come out. Gregory, I may have lost my temper earlier, but it was just a glitch. It won't happen again. It's been such a difficult day for all of us. Why don't you come out and we can play a game together? It won't happen again. It was, it was just, just a glitch. glitch. Gregory, be still. I think she's found us. So we start off with the trailer um, with a weird area. It looks almost like the storage area. So if you guys know where this game plays, it looks like the logo's back there. Um, Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Plex is a giant mall based on a description I found on the Reddit posted by Steel Wool themselves. I'm not sure if it was Steel Wool or if it was anybody else, but they basically announced what this place exactly is. So Fast Bear Entertainment is trying again to revamp the Freddy's uh, franchise after the murders and the rumors from the past from decades ago, and they end up built uh, they, they ended up building an entire complex, a mall, for kids to hang out uh, with solely Freddy and Friends related attractions, a laser tag area, an arcade, uh, Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, uh, it's all here, it's all there, and it's three stories of fun. So automatically, the environments look amazing, and it looks like we're in the back area, a little storage area of the Pizza Plex is what it's called. Some uh, um, boxes in the corner that have a bunch of logos. So it looks like this is like the back area, storage area, and there's an exit there, an elevator it seems like. So this may be uh, one of either one of the three floors or the bottom floor and the exit to the building. And as we pan through this shot, we get a glimpse of Vanny, it looks like. Vanny coming into view, she's walking in as she's speaking to, I'm guessing, not the protagonist, because we have already had a picture of the protagonist, a security guard who works at this mall. Uh, my guess is that she will be hired or will be tasked to finding the children that Vanny has captured and held captive while the animatronics are roaming the building. Vanny is here and she's talking to Gregory, a kid who is as of this point undisclosed as whether he's the protagonist or just some kid that we're meaning to be saving as the security guard lady I mentioned earlier. And she is talking to Gregory saying things like, Gregory, your friends are worried about you. They're here with me. Gregory, I may have lost my temper earlier, but it was just a glitch. It's been such a difficult day for all of us. Why don't you come out and we can play a game together? Vanny clearly has 
gone off the rocks. She is gone. She has lost all sense of her sanity because she is here now hunting this poor victim who we can hear is uh, very hoarse, very hyperventilative breathing in the background. He is very much so not okay. Next area, we got the kitchen, it seems more like. There's an exit. We just came from those doors, which was the back area we were just in. And we pan through the kitchen, it looks like, like a serving, a, a like storage area for the food. And there's a bunch of pizza boxes everywhere as I'm looking here. Uh, we got a caution, like slippery floor sign on the wet floor sign on the um, the floor. And, uh, as we sift through the rest of this, there's not much to talk about except this. Now, this, I'm not sure what this is. It's called, the fandom started giving it a name because that's what the fandom, this community does with new stuff, new information, new news. Um, we don't have a confirmed canon name yet, but we are calling him Moon Man, or at least that's what I'm going to call him. He kind of is sifting through the rafters of the kitchen, uh, the little like lids where all the pots and pans are hanging. He's kind of just sifting through, following our move as we're uh, leaving these doors. And can I just say, all I'm gonna say about it is that this design is creepy. This design is something completely new to this franchise, and I'm all for it. Um, it looks like a creepy jester sort of thing with a massive smile and it's definitely themed around uh, the night and like the moon and the stars and things like that. So it's definitely got a weird vibe to it. Head into the next area which is a laser tag maze or like a laser maze. Um, and we see Montgomery Gator here. We see, you know, pop outs, uh, cutouts of like Montgomery Gator, uh, Glamrock Freddy. And it definitely seems like this game is definitely going to be a lot more um, open and fire. Like, it's got a lot of neat environments that are creatively put together. The lighting looks amazing. It has beautiful ray tracing effects and shaders. Uh, the environments look spectacular, albeit it is going to be on a next-gen PlayStation console. So, of course, it's going to look great. But I will be downloading it, buying it on the PS4. As promised, we will be streaming it whenever it releases. Out into the main area, we can see a little gift shop on the side called Glamrock Gifts. Uh, a golden statue of Glamrock Freddy seems to be in the center. And we get, you know, just a lot of images, concept art, more concept art of these characters who we don't really get to see in this trailer, which is fine. It is a teaser trailer. We are, we should be expecting a little more later on in the year if the game has uh, not planned to release sometime this year. Maybe sometime early next year, which will be great. The last shot of the trailer features... Um, Vanny, of course, is still talking to Gregory, and then we see a black screen with a dark, creepy voice. I'm just gonna have that play for you guys here. An audio clip of seemingly uh, Glamrock Freddy talking to Gregory, and this is evidenced by Kellen Goff's tweet earlier on in the day today, um, talking about a uh, line with no context and then posting the trailer once it had been released. Meaning, he most likely was the one who voice acted this line. Who he's playing? We only have one idea, and it's Glamrock Freddy. Take a listen. Gregory, be still. I think she's found us. Yeah, it's pretty creepy. Um, so yeah, um, he's saying be still, and that they've been found, and of course we know who they have been found by. We can see Vanny here with her creepy bunny suit, uh, little jump scare in a frame here. It looks so high def and the jump scare got me every time I watch this trailer. It's just so mind boggling to see this in full 3D and I can't believe that this is going to be free roam. I really hope it's free roam, but that's the idea that everybody's had. And then we get the logo, of course, Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. So yeah, uh, this game has a lot going for it. A lot going for it and I'm so hyped for it. I'm so ready. I hope you guys are too because this is going to be amazing. Um, I'm gonna be doing a possible analysis later on, uh, maybe not today, but tomorrow. So if you guys wanna see that, be sure to subscribe, like this video, check out the trailer, and be sure to always stay snappy. I'm Virus, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!